Alright, hey everyone, this is Optic, and uh, this is going to be that Skyrim video I was telling you about. Just walk through things. Um, this is my character. It's a retextured Nightingale suit. Um, just a mod I downloaded. Um, I thought it looked pretty sick, uh, so I put it on. My Daedric bow, just some steel arrows. Alright, great. Uh... So here's my active effects, all my archery bonuses, my sneak bonuses, whatever. Um, I did crank up the difficulty recently. I haven't noticed a difference uh, when I'm putting that much damage down, whatever, with the, my sneak. I mean, I can walk straight up into people's faces and knife them. It's pretty sick, pretty cool, a lot of fun. Um, my shouts, only missing three of them. I asked the Greybeards where these last three were, they wouldn't tell me. So I guess I'm gonna I'm on my own for a bit. Uh, and then the rest of these are just individual spells that, I mean, who really cares about? Um, okay, I started out here and back here so nobody talked to me. But, uh, let's go in the house. So this is Breeze Home in Whiterun. Uh, yeah, Whiterun. And honestly, I think it's by default. Um, so like on the consoles where you can't install mods, I think this is the best house. This is most likely the first house you're going to get. Um, you're right next to the blacksmithing over here on the other side of this wall. Um, you have a, uh, I just alchemy table to do all your alchemy stuff. Um, you've got enough containers to hold all your junk. Um, and then for the few times you've got to do an, use an arcane enchanter, uh, you can just run up the hill to go get it. Uh, so in this one, just a bunch of stuff, mostly stuff I'm going to either sell or I don't know what I'm going to do with, uh, questing stuff. I got all the masks, um, bugs in a jar, which I have no idea what you do with those. Um, the old dragon claws, you know, whatever. Um, whoa, glitch. Um, I don't think I have anything else in this house main portion we'll go downstairs into Dovakin's hideout um go through some of this. these doors here take me to all my other houses that I own so that's kind of convenient I can access my basement from from any house uh so this is my first set of dragon armor here um this has multiple things on it uh that, as you can see, destruction spells, 25% less, one-handed stuff, uh, bows. Anyway, wearing all this stuff basically makes my destruction magic for uh, cost me nothing. Um, this was my stealth gear before I put on what I've got on. And then this is my Daedric armor uh, that I'm going to use for my heavy armor stuff when I switch to that here soon. And then this is a set of ebony armor that I made. Whatever. Uh, so these are some random crap that I'm storing right here. I'm not sure what to do with yet. Uh, it, this is just a collection of any piece of random armor that I'm not planning on using that's been enchanted um, that relates to magic. So I'll eventually sell those once I get my speech perks assigned. All, all the random shields I picked up. Uh, and one thing I want to point, uh, not so much this, is amulets and whatever. I'll find one that shows a bunch of expensive stuff. So if we sort by value, I can't sell this stuff. Nobody carries this much money in the game. Impossible. Um, and there's really not much to buy. Like, I'll buy some ebony ingots, uh, lock picks here and there, but that's about it. Um, so it's really hard to even put enough money into the vendors to trade with. Uh, anyway, but this is all enchanted, hence the blue lightning. The little hand means it's stolen. Um, this is all enchanted jewelry, so jewelry that I don't use because if I use it, it will be on me or on one of my mannequins. Um, so eventually, the stuff is, I'm going to try to sell it. Up here is stuff that hasn't been enchanted. Most likely will get sold again. But if I ever needed anything, I can come grab this, enchant it, and uh, roll with it. Um, we'll go down here real quick. 
a uh, bunch of bookshelves back there. I don't really collect books. Maybe I will someday, but right now I don't. Uh, these are all random weapons that aren't enchanted. Oh, gold. Um, random weapons that aren't enchanted. Oh, he shouldn't be in here. Um, so if I ever wanted a weapon, sell so most of these again will be sold um, at some point in the future. None of these weapons really used because if I use it, I keep it on me. Um, let's throw these in here. Alright. Um, I did enchant my pickaxe one time for enchanting bonus points when I was trying to rank that up. Anyway, again with the values, 5000 bucks. I'll never be able to sell that. Um, even up into the 2000s. I mean, most of this stuff will just sit in, uh, in this stuff, in these cases, for the rest of the game. You know, enchanting. I heard there was a glitch that will cause your stuff to disappear that's in here, so I'm not using the satchels. Um, my Thieves Guild armor, my Nightingale armor, my Assassin Guild armor. Uh, this is small, full blacksmithing in here. Um, again, I really don't have much to do. I have enough jewelry to last me forever. Um, here's all the ingredients that I've sold up, stored up. Um, I will take time and just gather up lots of ingredients before I do any alchemy. Um, cause it's kind of a pain and I, I, I just want to do a bunch of it at a time when I do it. So I store it here. And then here's all my potions. If we, again, if we store it by value, I've got potions up over a thousand bucks and a lot of them. Um, and we'll just sit here and scan through the potions and all this stuff. I mean, the potion chick right here in white run carries 550 which means everything above this I can't sell unless I trade. But again, why am I going to buy ingredients? I can find those. The only potion I buy is usually blacksmithing potions. So, um, anyway, I just have this huge stack of potions that I haven't sold yet. Scan, scan, scan. Grab the thing. Just tons of potions that I'll eventually sell or they'll just sit here for a very long time bunch of soul gems either filled or not filled i am carrying again see we're talking about this on the forum people buy these i have never bought a single one and you can see the numbers that i have just from questing a bunch of fragments um you really don't need to buy this crap you're just gonna find it laying around in huge numbers um and then filling them is no big deal you just have a weapon that fills them so i here on on me i'm carrying 10 empties of greater 10 empties common 10 empties lesser 12 empties of petty uh and if we look my daggers are soul caps soul cap daggers so if i want a soul cap i just sneak around with that with my two daggers and kill people this chest again i save i'm a resource whore i grab everything um, but here's all the ingots I have to build armor, leather to build armor, um, Sithis offering, that's how I make my custom armor, had to build those, but using torture tools and other stuff, um, random ore that I've been too lazy to smith into, uh, stuff, all the common gems for jewelry making, all this dragon armor. I mean, anymore I don't even worry about dragons because I've got so much stuff. Charcoal sticks are pointless, but I had them, so I kept them. Uh, but I could make tons of armor if I wanted. Uh, just more random enchanted clothing that will get sold if I can. But again, we're looking at the values. I mean, that's going to be hard to sell. And then this is unenchanted clothing, which once again will probably get sold in, sold, sold in, sold, um, if possible, five thousand again. Um, and my speech is getting high enough now, as far as, as far as rank, that I don't lose too much on my value. Um, when I trade stuff in, plus I have this first perk lined up here. Um, so alchemy at 96, I've never, I don't work on those. Destruction 100 for a long time now. Enchanting at 100. 
Um, if you're going to do, want, if you want powerful armor, I recommend this middle track. So, you know, 100% enhancement. Um, you're 25% more on that. Whoa. If we can navigate here without being drunk. Um, your health, magic, and stamina are 25% stronger, but this one's the best. You can put two enchantments on one item. And uh, that's how I build power armor sets. I have all the smithing checked off. Um, so that's cool. Heavy armor I never use. Block never use. Two-handed never use. One-handed I've been using. Getting close. Archery is 100. Um, I don't really find the perks that useful, except for th that one. This one is uh, nice to the zoom in. And then uh, this slow 25% is pretty nice. You can jump that up to whatever it is, but I haven't, I haven't found a use for it. Sneak. Max that out. Muffled movement helps. And then here's your, whoa, here's your damage multiplier. So your daggers do 15x damage. Your sneak attacks with your one-handed weapon, so you're like your swords do six damage, and then your bows multiply by three. So that's how I can drop like 1,300 damage with my bows. Uh, lock picking, I have no perks, but it is 100. Pickpocketing, I never do. Speech, once again, so we've gone around. Anyway, here's my stats here. Green indicates that, you know, I have armor beef-ups on those and whatnot. Um, so show you my my stuff here my bow 445 um, I have two enchantments on it frost damage fire damage um, my daggers are up to 86 and they have fire damage and soul capture abilities um, and then my swords I picked up actually both of them and just been using them uh, had fire damage on them found two of them I have no idea where this came from. And then all my arrows. Once again, you can buy arrows if you want, but honestly, you're going to find tons of them. And early on, it makes a difference what arrows you're using, but like, so my bow does 445. Like, what's the difference between the Daedric of 24 and steel at 10 or whatever? I mean, who cares? Uh. I carry a limited potion strength so when I'm in dungeons I can carry out and then some health because um, I also have healing magic so I don't really need many of the potions and I don't use any of the fortifies and I don't use the poisons or anything like that uh, as a quest item. Um, I have lock picking uh, jewelry so I can switch those on to multiply my lock picking if I get some master lock or something that I need. As you can see the value who knows if I'd ever be able to sell these once I decide move on to something else. So most likely it'll go on a mannequin and that'll be it. Anyway, that's basically the house. Um, again, normally the, up until today, these were stored in just up in Bree's home. It's my favorite because of the location, enough storage, whatever. But like, I'll show you here. We can warp out to um, solitude here into the house. It's pretty cool, although I never really use it. Anyway, here we are in the basement. Alright. That's how I play. That's my stuff so far. Uh, basically, the money system sucks, and as you get better, the game gets easier. Or, get better stuff, the game gets really easy because, well, your stuff does an insane amount of damage. Anyway, now for some clips of one-shot hits with my bow. Have a good one.